Thanks everybody for joining. Today I'm going to be giving a sneak peek on one of the classes I'm preparing for uh, to present at Autodesk University 2023 in November in Las Vegas. The class title is Data Processing and Mining with Dynamo for Civil 3D. There's obviously been a, a lot of discussion around data, data processing and mining over the past couple of years across AEC. But what does that actually mean? So we're going to talk about ways we could aggregate and kind of transform that data into something that makes a little more sense, maybe find some patterns or uh, trends or something associated with the data and the files that they're associated with. So what we have right here, I'm not going to get too crazy detailed with the Dynamo script itself. Um, I'll get into this when I present in the class a little bit. Uh, but one thing to focus on right now is that uh, there is a job number input for each of the scripts that I'm going to be running. And that we want to make sure that we are, as we extract the data from our files, we're associating it with a particular project uh, number and a file itself. So as you can see, I, I just ran the alignment data. It, it extracted a whole bunch of information associated with the alignments within this particular file. You can see the sheet name in the Excel file actually reports the file name itself with the grading model DWG extension. So we're gonna run a couple of these uh, just to kind of give you a taste of, of some of the things that, that are being developed that I'm working on for this class and some of the information that can be extracted using Dynamo. So we've got a general drawing data, which is gonna uh, feed us a lot of information associated with units and, and the setup itself. We have the styles, so we can actually surface all the uh, style data within that particular file. We have surfaces, we have all kinds of great information. We even have gravity networks, pressure networks. And again, I'm not gonna get too crazy detailed into the scripts, the, the makeup of it, but as you can see, as we're running these scripts, we are extracting all this information, this great information, and we have some commonalities with the document file name um, so we could identify which data is associated with which files and associated with which particular project. And I'm going to expand this a little bit, expand these columns, and you can see all the great information that's being extracted. So this one is the general data, the general drawing data. Uh, script that's being run. We see all the line types, the layers, all the blocks. We can see all this great information, right? And now what do we do with it? We uh, are going to want to bring it into Power BI for the purposes of this demonstration. Um, I'm a big fan of Power BI, Microsoft Power BI, because we can start analyzing and extracting and, and slicing and dicing the information and, and showing us what we want to see. Right. So maybe our grading model's uh, really slow. It's been performing really slow lately. So we want to understand what's actually in that file without um, going crazy deep dives, uh, spending like two hours trying to make heads or tails of what's going on in there. Maybe it's just some simple information that that's uh, bogging it down. Maybe it's uh, just some file bloat. Maybe it's too large. Maybe there's too many surface models within that particular file or the surface models are just uh, cover a really long, uh, big area. The style data, maybe there's additional styles. As you can see, some of these have a standard style associated with them. So there's another style within, another standard style embedded with each individual uh, component. So that could certainly add to some of the bloatness uh, within your files. So maybe there's some, some reactions we could do based off of this data. Maybe we need to break it out into multiple models, grading models, uh, if the surface is too large, or maybe the styles need to be purged, maybe the layers, blocks, and stuff like that. Maybe it needs to, we need to perform an audit. Maybe we need to understand how XREFs are, are being brought in. Are there too many XREFs or data references? And then we could start making, uh, reacting to some of this data. We could start uh, minimizing, uh, shrinking down the files and making them a little more efficient for our project teams. Um, we want to obviously stay as efficient and, and productive as possible. We don't want to be waiting on files to be opening for, uh, say, 10 minutes. I don't know, whatever it may be. Uh, so we want to make some, some good decisions based off the data that's being reported. So again, real just quick high-level synopsis of, of what I have going on in preparation of this class. Would love to see you. Can't wait to, if you can't sign up uh, for my class, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com or reach out to me on LinkedIn. Uh, would love to have a conversation around Dynamo, Civil 3D, any of the above, data processing, mining, 
and seeing uh, how we can continue to push the limits. Thanks.